Now it's time to explore Russia's most exciting destinations with our close-up team. Today we're in the Tumen region, the beating heart of Russia's oil and gas industries. The region is about 2,000 kilometers east of Moscow. Its main city, Tumen, was the first Russian settlement in Siberia and was founded in the 16th century. These days it's one of the richest cities in the country and an important business center. Let's join our correspondent, Igor Ogorodna, who's there right now. Hello, Igor. Tumen is considered to be Russia's oil and gas capital. What are the other industries being developed in the region? Well, indeed, the people who are running the region do have a lot of plans to diversify. But any success of these plans has to be tempered by the realization that 17 out of every $20 which are produced in the region are produced by the oil and gas industry. So any plans which are going to be made right now, it will take them a few years to have proper effect. Now, one of the greatest natural resources that this region does have is its forest. And there's going to be more logging going on. But all these developments are dependent on the level of infrastructure Structure. Although the oil has been developed well already and there are easy ways, there are pipelines, there are roads, there's every opportunity to develop the oil. With other industries there isn't quite opportunity. For example, if the logging does start, are there going to be roads, are there going to be processing plants and so on. Also some heavy machinery and uh, some heavy industries are going to be introduced here as well. The location of this place is going to be a little bit of a hindrance in terms of really conquering uh, Russia and the Russian market because although Timen isn't that far to the east, it's still not in the European part of Russia where the majority of the population lives. So it probably would not make too much economic sense to completely move the consumer goods production into this region. It, I'm not sure that it particularly has a competitive advantage in that respect. So if you're going to be realistic, for the moment it will have to be the oil and gas and also anything that is linked to that trade and anything which can be funded by these developments, as you can see from my report. The traditional face of the Siberian economy. This region produces two-thirds of Russia's oil and more than 90% of its gas. The oil rig is still the symbol of Tumen region. But every year the black gold is getting harder and harder to extract. Now while the going is still relatively good, the region has tried to redevelop itself as a hub of new technology. And a decade of high oil prices has allowed the authorities to think and spend big. Tumen City, the region's capital, has seen new towers reach into the skyline, with construction leading the consumer boom. Instead of Spartan Soviet blocks, now a life of modern luxury with prices to match. We have been creating whole new districts from scratch. For a while during the financial crisis, the customers could not get mortgages. But the market has bounced back strong. Making sure that oil and gas money funds the future is the biggest challenge. Several technology parks have sprung up as an opportunity to modernize and innovate. But there is more to it than pumping in cash. There is still a need to be as rich in talent as in minerals. And it may be years until there are significant returns on investment. One quality that's not in short supply, especially at the other end of the fuel chain, is ambition. Local engineers say that Siberia's rugged climate has given them the idea for a perfect all-terrain vehicle. To see if it drives as impressively as it looks, we've decided to take it for a spin. Поехали! Well, it's a comfy ride, but as the world's leading car makers cut back, some say the project is the ultimate white elephant, but not its owner. There is a real demand for these vehicles in the region. It has no equivalent anywhere. We are not making a profit yet, but we are already breaking even. For all the desire to swerve from the well-trodden path, Developing oil and gas expertise is the key to tomorrow. Oil field services John Schlumberger has just built one of the world's most advanced training centers just outside Tumen, drawing in specialists from all over the world. It's the kind of international investment the area is looking for. What makes this so successful is that the rules are the same for those at the top and at the bottom. 
and that makes it different from a typical Russian enterprise. I feel we are having a radically positive impact. Timens not been immune to the global recession, but it has been buffeted by its role as Russia's energy capital. More than 80% of its industrial output is still oil and gas, a figure that might be hard to shift in the near future, for all the blue skies thinking. And standing right next to me now is somebody who can answer more questions about local development. Yulia Borova works for the regional government and we're actually standing right here next to an innovation centre, a future techno park. I visited it the other day and it was featured in our report, but it seemed to be a little bit empty, as if it's only just starting out its development. Now, when is it going to produce any returns and is it actually worth the money which was spent to, to build this beautiful building? So, as you know, human history was a center of oil and gas science. And that's why uh, Technopark or Innovative Center, as we call it, uh, it is a comfortable ground for consolidation ideas of science and business. And uh, it's, ne it's necessary to add that our, uh, we um, try to develop not just only oil and gas uh, science and uh, new technologies and oil and gas science, but also in uh, agriculture, for example. Uh, it's very important because, as you know, we live in a country uh, with a region not with the not uh, unfriendly weather, and uh, new technologies we introduce uh, in agriculture uh, give us an opportunity to give a good harvest, uh, good harvest practically every year. And uh, as for oil and gas, uh, so it's very prospective. Uh, this techno park is very prospective for us because we create a new oil province not far from Tumen. 300 kilometers from Tumen, and that's why uh, scientific ideas and uh, scientific projects in this kind of sphere of industry is very prospective for but us. I have a question, you know, uh, there has been a big financial crisis throughout the world and throughout Russia as well. Now, is that affecting the plans to build these innovative centers? Is it affecting the plans to develop the oil field? Is enough money going into the industry, which will only be seen, you know, in returns in 10, 20 years? Can, can the government afford this? Uh, you mean the future of Technopark? So, yeah. uh, I think the uh, financial and international crisis uh, wasn't, a, wasn't, a, wasn't a tragedy for us. Uh, and that's why uh, Technopark and innovation uh, will have a great, uh, great uh, profit, uh, great profit for regions, for regional economics, uh, something like that. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, thank you. We are speaking to Yulia Borova, who represents the regional government of two men. Thank you. That was Artis Igor Ragnev reporting from the city of Tumen. Stephanie joins me now with all the latest.